He's Namora. So, the other day, I was watching this um, CW show called Rain, which is about Mary Queen of Scots. And as I was watching it, I decided that this video was going to be about the real Mary Queen of Scots, because the show isn't quite what I would call historically accurate. Never at French court, and also a 60-year-old man. Mary Stuart was born in December of 1542. Her father, James V, I think, he died just a couple of days after she was born, and she was crowned queen as a six-day-old infant. She was then betrothed to Henry VIII's son, Edward, but that fell through pretty soon after, as if you know anything about the time period, England and Scotland had a little bit of a touchy, um, had some touchy relations. Um, she was then uh, betrothed to the Dauphin of France, Francis, and spent most of her childhood in French court. She ultimately married Francis at the age of 15, um, but he died two years into his reign from an ear infection. Um, he was very sickly. So at age 18, Mary went back to Scotland, which until that time had been ruled by a regent. Um, when she got back, she decided to rein in the hostile nobles in Scotland as well as try and be bring peace um, in a time when Catholics and Protestants were having a lot of problems with each other. Um, and she actually did really well with that. Um, even though she was a Catholic, um, she ruled pretty not, she was pretty good about that, um, when other rulers were, like, killing Protestants or killing Catholics, it was intense, um, but then she made a mistake and got married again to this one asshole. Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley, as he is also called, was a douchebag. And probably the first step in her downward spiral, um, she had a baby with him, but he also at one point kidnapped her, and it, he ended up getting murdered, most likely by a man named James Hepburn, or... Lord Brothwell. He coincidentally ended up being Mary Queen of Scots third husband. And if you thought her second marriage was unpopular, just wait until her third one. She got married three months after her second husband was murdered, presumably by the man she was now married to. And her marriage was so unpopular that she was forced to abdicate in favor of her son, now James VI, who was also an infant. Mary then fled to England, where she thought her cousin Elizabeth would grant her protection. But she was very, very wrong. See, Elizabeth remembered how... Mary laid claim to the English throne, um, and Elizabeth's having none of that, so she kept her imprisoned, moving from castle to castle for the next 18 years of her life, until she was finally executed in England, um, when she was found guilty of plotting to assassinate uh, Elizabeth, 
uh, and putting herself as queen. But then, weirdly enough, after Elizabeth died, Mary's son, James the Sixth, becomes James the First as of England. So he was king of both of them. So that's weird. Fun fact: all of Mary's ladies in waiting were also named Mary, and they hung out with her for the rest of her life. So there was just this squad of Marys chilling in 16th century Scotland slash France slash England. Um, and I thought that was interesting. Um, I hope this wasn't super boring to other people. Um, also, your cover was super great. Um, you should do more. I can't wait to see your next video and have fun on the road to Portland. Bye, love.